the turn of the Colts next in the Craven Stakes. We've got a much bigger field for this one. 15 of them, I think. It's for over a mile, the full Guinness trip. And three year old Colts, of course. Bits and pieces at the top. Leon Van Rensburg, Blue Lake for Munas, Caucus Highway. David Robertson, Georgetown and Hong Kong Fui for Paul Rhodes, Limerick Legend and Nikolai Lantzoff for Padraig Hogan, Pavis Glenboy, Jai Bermanstein, Pepito Blades, Dan Hughes, Power for Good Jim Murray, the Taj Mahal, Darren Thompson, the White Knight Martin, the titillating Joshua Sutherland, Yuma Schoolboy, Vinnie Gerard and Zindabad Beer for James Shea. 15 of them then this time. All installed and ready to go for this 2000 Guinness trial. They're away and racing. And we've got a good three greys in this. The closest one nearest to us is Pepito Blades, but it's Zindabad Beer in the dark green who initially went on. Now the one or two others coming through the challenge, and it looks like it's going to be the Taj Mahal who takes it up. So the Taj Mahal has gone off into the lead now, then they're spread right across the track. Just about second is Georgetown, bits and pieces is up the centre of the track. Also um, running virtually on its own is the... John Bermanstein horse Pavers Glenboy, but it's still Taj Mahal who's just in front from Power for Good, who's now second on that far rail. Then come the Rhodes pair, Hong Kong Fui and Georgetown. Bits and pieces is up the centre of the track with a brace of Grey's Yuma Schoolboy and Pepito Blaze. The third Grey, the White Knight, is a little bit further back. Now be starting to make a bit of a forward move though. The one that's really been taken off its feet again is titillating. I think that did the same thing last week and then finished with a wet sail. We need to do the same thing again today. But it's Taj Mahal who's in the lead past the three. From in second place, Pavers Glenboy. Then bits and pieces. The White Knight is making a forward move. Then comes Hong Kong Fui. Pepito Blades is also showing some good speed as well. There's still less than two furlongs to go. And it's the Taj Mahal in front from Pavers Glenboy running a big race. Then Pepito Blades and bits and pieces. Hong Kong Fui and Georgetown. Yuma Schoolboy and the White Knight. Plenty of chances, but they've got to get to the Taj Mahal. They're racing down towards the final half furlong. The Taj Mahal's hanging on from Pepito Blades and Pavers Glenboy. And it's going to be close as they race up to the race to Pepito Blades, he's just going to put no on the line, Yuma Schoolboy came from absolutely nowhere and took it and it was all changing the final half furlong as those closers started to motor you can see titillated, never got into it at all today, but Yuma Schoolboy got up on the line, looked like Pepito Blades had done enough to win that look at that, one, two, three, four, six, six short heads in the first seven all right, and a head in between them as well. So what about that? That's a pretty tight finish there. Andy Capital has some form with that one. Yuma Schoolboy, Vinnie Gerard, the winner. Pepito Blades for Dan Hughes, second. Bits and Pieces, Leon Ryan Rensburg, third. The Taj Mahal for Darren Thompson, fourth. And Pavers Glenboy for Jay Bermanstein was fifth.